The Northwest suburbs continue to produce some great girls basketball talent. In this week's CCX Sports Spotlight, Jay Wilcox profiles an Armstrong senior who is set to play Division I college ball next season. If it seems like Savannah McGowan's been a part of the Armstrong girls basketball team for a long time, it's because she has been. Ball stripped away and put back up and in by McGowan. Now a senior, McGowan made her varsity debut as a seventh grader, meaning it's her sixth season. My game has changed a lot. Um, I've also gotten stronger and I've grown a little bit, so that obviously it helps. Like looking back at even sometimes I'll watch film from when I was in ninth grade and I'm like, why, why did I do that? Like why, why would I, I can't believe I put up that shot, but looking at me now, there's still a lot of things I need to like work on, but I think my growth has just been tremendous throughout. At 6'3", McGowan does much of her damage in the paint. She is the true five. She helps to prove there is definitely still room for post players in the sport. Here's McGowan getting a touch inside, turns and scores. A lot of teams shy away from post now, which is kind of sad because posts bring in so much that I think guards can't always do. She loves um, scoring around uh, the paint area uh, with her back to the basket. And I like to kind of show that like posts, like we can still be in this game, we can still do things, whatever you need us to do, we can do it. We just have a different style of playing. Her talent, hard work, and longevity helped Savannah reach a big milestone earlier this season. I'm extremely proud of myself, it's kind of crazy. She's believed to be the first Armstrong girl to record 1,000 career points and 1,000 career rebounds. I was kind of shocked because I thought, well, wow, like I. I don't know, like I kind of thought other people would have been there before me to do that. And so when he told me, like, I immediately knew like that was that was gonna be my number one goal. And you can even ask some of my teachers, like even my chemistry teacher knew that that was my number one goal. A thousand rebounds, a thousand points. For at least the past few seasons, most opposing coaches game plan to try to limit McGowan's touches inside. Often, yeah, I get double teamed and triple teamed in games. Her coaches and teammates have helped Savannah to combat that strategy. One thing that we worked on is really being able to move the ball, but the girls got to know that they can't be afraid to score and shoot it too. I'll try to get that offensive rebound. I can still be the option, but once when they learn that they can knock down a shot and they can create things to help me get open, then we'll be unstoppable. McGowan will continue her basketball career next season. She plans to study education and play basketball at Illinois State. I love the coaches at Illinois State. I, I love the campus and it's perfect for my major education, but overall, like the coaches and the atmosphere of the team, seeing how close they were, that was something that was really important to me. And Illinois State always checked in on me and they just did a great job of like explaining what my future could be. Armstrong fans will remember the spin moves inside and the soft touch on jumpers from Savannah McGowan. For those inside the program, her personality, leadership, and mentoring of teammates may be even more important. Her personality is great. She's always having fun, goofing off. You know, at times we get hard on each other, but we know it's all tough love. You know, we're going to be friends on and off the court. So just getting on each other about stuff that we need to, and it's good. Savannah's a, you know, fabulous leader, um, great teammate, uh, constantly getting, um, you know, information from coaches, how great she is, as well as officials and teachers. So she's just a great leader, uh, vibrant personality, and just someone fun to be around. One of the things about being a senior and being on this team for so long is it's important to make a connection with those younger girls because they are gonna be the future. And I just know that if I can keep the connection with them, like they'll, they'll enjoy the game more and they'll want to be here even more. Um, I love this game and I love this school and I want others to enjoy it as much as I do. Find more prep sports games and highlights at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.